What's up, friends of the good mood? This is money, and this is so ridiculous. The new weapon Reaper coming on the test server is definitely going to be a weapon to ruin War Robots even more. Okay, it's hard to imagine, but it's going to happen. Not to mention the 2 million HP Rook video I've made with the Titan because of the Titan pilots. But this weapon is so wrong in every regard, I can't even begin to, uh, to, to describe it. Um, you're bypassing every type of resistance. Look, this is an Aether Titan in his force field ability, and he just lost 80 or 90% health from a single salvo that I fired. This is a Titan. And he lost 80 or 90% damage because I fired one salvo that I can shoot at 1,100 meters range that ignores every defense system he's got. People who have last stand, they die including their last stand from one salvo. You're gonna see it in this video a bunch of times. I think this weapon is the very definition of what's wrong with War Robots. It's a new weapon and I like cannons, don't get me wrong, but the fact that it bypasses all types of resistance and force field and reflectors and everything and has 1100 meters range uh, and an incredible amount of damage output per, per, per salvo is just insane. So Most of these enemies that I'm shooting here die literally in one salvo. And don't forget, they're all maxed. Every single robot running around here on the test server is now Mark III. They're maxed in maximum level. They don't have the pilot skills running because pilots were deactivated during the session, but other than that, they're maxed and they just die in a single salvo. And uh, it's just so wrong. Um, and uh, with the crisis robot, of course, you even have the shield breaking built in. Wait a minute, where did the enemy crisis come what, what the heck? A crisis robot teleport? Oh, he used the teleport created by the Imugi. Okay, okay. I understand. I was really confused to see how he appeared there. Look, this is a Mender. Bye. A single salvo and the Mender dies at 600 meters range. By the way, he could have been 1,100 meters away and he would have died the same way. Imagine Yamantau with two of two enemy players running this setup. Dude, you're never gonna leave your base. It's, it's just not fun to leave the, play the game, the map anymore, when there is something like this on the map. Um, and that... There's a crisis robot. He didn't die because he walked back in cover, but other than that, he would have been dead, of course. Uh, so that's a harpy. So, uh, correction, it was a harpy, right? Uh, and uh, yeah, uh, it, it, the reload is really quick on the weapon, and I think it's cool that the weapon reloads so quick. And generally, I think it's cool that the weapon fires in multiple shots rather than one shot. That makes it more useful against, you know, shields that drop and then the next shots come in or last then and so on. What problem I have with it is the fact that the damage output at up to 1100 meters range is simply too high. And that you can ignore everything the game allowed you to get as defense measures before. So, as usual, right, new content completely declassifies the old just because it's new and it bypasses and counters everything perfectly and that's what i have a problem with um i like that there is a new sniper weapon i like the design of the weapon the sound the firing pattern it's all cool but it can't be that just because it's a new weapon that needs to be attractive and needs to be making sales um that because of that the weapon simply becomes uh, a, a counter to everything we know before this is a game design I do not support. This is a game design that I clearly tell you guys is wrong. And it's a game design that will put War Robots even further down in the popularity list among the players. Um, but yeah, let's look at that Aether Titan. 100% HP. It's a Titan fully maxed on the live server. Actually, are they maxed? I mean, if my Rook Titan had 2 million HP, then I guess they are maxed. Look what I do with him. Uh, of course, I have do, do nuclear amplifier running, 95 stacks, so we're fully maximum amplified. And I'm activating both abilities for more damage as well. And look at that. Boom, 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 boom. That is an Aether Titan in his force field ability that normally you don't even deal any point of damage to when he does that. He basically just died in one shot. Uh, and yeah, so let me look at him. He's back to 60% because he can heal, and the next salvo simply kills him. What do you say about that? Pixonic, what do you have to say for yourself after looking at this? Is this really intent? Is this really what you think is a good idea? 
<laughs> uh, yeah, no, it's not. So look, this is a nether. Uh, no, this is a uh, nether, no. Uh, seraph, it's a seraph. A seraph in the same force field ability. Boom, 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 boom. Bye bye, Seraph. 100% Seraph in his ability that he has to make him invincible for that time. Or very resistant. Yep. There he goes. That's it. And uh, it's wrong. It's just wrong, ladies and gentlemen. I wasn't running a Titan and I stacked 5, 4.5 million damage on the test server in a relatively quick match. Uh, and I uh, got 11 kills. And most of those kills were one hit kills. Pop, 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 dead. How much fun do you think it is to run around the map? Pop, 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 death. Well, even with last end, you're dead. Look at this guy. There he goes. After one shot, he almost did the same to me. I think he missed a few shots or had a targeting problem where he targeted somebody else or so. Uh, but uh, look, there's another one. Bam, 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 bam. He would be dead, but a few of my shots didn't actually connect with his robot. They hit the, the wall there. Down to last end. So there's a guy over the distance, and uh, there's a Fury. Is it a Fury? I think it is. Boom, 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 boom. One shot. Yeah. It's crazy, man. It's really crazy. Okay, so what else are we gonna shoot? This guy, bam, 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 bam. Of course he dies after one salvo. Um, because uh, although this being a sniper weapon at short range, it has the same level of effectiveness. Although in this range, other we uh, weapons will be more be uh, powerful, I guess, but, um, yeah. Ding, 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 ding. Okay, come around the corner here. Ah, you made it back in cover. I have only three shots left or so. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, if I had just one more shot, he would have died. Even though, of course, as usual, I lost two out of four weapons. It's just money gaming. Um, and, uh... That's what I wanted to show you. Unfortunately, this was the end of my uh, Reaper gameplay that I was able to collect. Um, uh, but uh, let's just show you some more of the Rook Titan gameplay because I think it falls into the same category of ridiculousness that a Titan can run around now with 2 million HP um, and uh, basically be able to restore himself. In this case, I didn't have 2 million because I ran a module setup with over... Uh, with um, What's it called? Uh, uh, with the, the overdrive reactor, I don't know, the damage uh, modules, that's why I don't have quite 2 million damage, uh, out, uh, no, 2 million HP, but I have a massive amount of damage output in return, and still almost 2 million HP, right, let's be honest, it's still pretty much 2 million, and if this is to, just as a side note, if this is 2 million HP on a titan that can heal himself up like 3 or 4 times, right? And then, on top of that, pop in fresh phys physical shields all the time that you every time have to kill. Then, just the HP you have to take down, that restores all the time with the healing, you probably have to do like 5-6 million damage to effectively really kill the Titan altogether in the end. Um, and then, to counting in the physical shields, you also have to deal damage to the physical shields every time before you can deal damage to him again. Every time after you pop the new shields, you have to start killing the shields again, right? Unless you run pure explosive weapons, which you probably won't do. Uh, and, and that means um, you're doing another maybe 2 million or 3 million damage that basically are getting sucked into the physical shields before you can deal damage. In, some, in the end, you, you do like 10 million or maybe 12 million damage to just kill a single Rook Titan uh, build like this. And I, I'm just not sure if this is really something that should be uh, happening. Uh, a ti okay, a Titan is a Titan. It should be hard, harder to kill than a robot. But should, like, the Titans are this powerful with these pilots now, it is like, as soon as they are in the game, you don't need robots anymore. What, why would you run a robot that tickles the Titan a little bit on his 10 million HP pool that he has all together, basically, um, uh, when he can jump you, instant kill you, jump away from you, they, he can be anywhere on the map within seconds, whatever he wants to do. He can jump you, suppress you, uh, pop new shields, heal himself. Uh, like, I mean, at this point, what can he not do, right? He has cloaking detection built in if you have a quantum sensor. Um, 
that goes all the time. Um, yeah, at that point, I just don't know what you're supposed to do with regular robots when Titans are deployed. It, it seems like there's um, the relation between the two goes away. There are a few setups that really deal a tremendous amount of damage, even to Titans. Um, Claw, Jaw, Talon is immensely ridiculous in, in their damage output. So there's a few weapons that you can maybe still use really well against them, but if you're just... Uh, yeah, if you have to do so much damage, it, it just gets out of control, I guess, right? That's what I'm trying to point to. Anyways, thank you for watching. Have a good one and catch you in the next video. Manny signing off. Bye-bye.